Hello everybody and welcome back to The Only Way Is Bee Sleep. Today we will be doing Lesson 7 of the Apollo program, uh, which is the Auto Maneuver. <coughs> So what we'll do for that, the computer is used to manoeuvre the spacecraft and in this lesson we will look at how to do this. So we're going to learn how to read, monitor and write to the AGC memory and learn how to orient the spacecraft using the PGNCS. So before we do this, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from the other ways beastly and help us get to a thousand subscribers. Let's crack on. Okay, so welcome to the Auto Maneuver lesson. In this lesson we will go deeper into the AGC and how to orient the spacecraft using the PGNCS. So first of all, separate the Saturn V booster by pressing the CSMLV separation push button. Okay, there we are. And you notice the gimbal change just there, didn't we? Okay. Nope, wrong one, don't want that. Let's see that. Okay. So the CSM is now free from the launch vehicle, it's currently orbiting Earth. Quick glance. Yep, still there. Fantastic. Okay, let's get back in. Uh, let's go to the commander seat. No, let's go to the pilot seat instead. Okay, so use the view selector to move over to the computer display, which is here. We'll press F11. Let's press F11. What happens there? Oh, bloody hell, that's close. Okay. <coughs> So, verb 6 is used to read and display memory locations specified by the noun. Okay, so some of the nouns will display one memory location and it will be drawn into the first register. There are three registers available. Other nouns will display two memory locations and they will be drawn into R1 and R2. Lastly, some nouns will render three memory locations into R1, R2 and R3. So, noun 18 will display the desired auto maneuver FDAI ball angles into R1, 2, 3. R1 will display roll, R2 will display pitch, and R3 will display your. So, noun 18, let's start by pressing verb first of all. Okay, so I've pressed verb, then press 0, then 6, then press noun 1, 8. Lastly, press enter. Ooh. Okay. So each of the numbers has five digits, and where the last two are used as a decimal part. So if R1 reads uh, 0, 2, 300, it means it will roll about 23 degrees. Roger that. So now 18 displays zeros. This means the auto maneuver vector should be set to zero in the local vertical. So please see the re entry Apollo flight manual for a list of all verbs and nouns and how you should read the values displayed. Now, I, I haven't done that. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do it. I really should do, to be honest. Uh, I might actually have a quick crack at that tomorrow when I've finished my night shift. So. Well, let's learn how to change the values by writing it to the computer memory. So verb 21 will allow you to insert values into R1. Verb 22 will allow you to insert it into R2. And 23 will allow you to insert it into R3. So you'll need to insert all the values, including the sign when inserting the values. So since I ran verb 6, a specified noun 18 is loaded into the banks. We wish to change the your value, namely R3, to 180 uh, to manoeuvre into retrograde attitude. So we can use... That we can then use V23 to change R3. So let's press verb 2 and then press 3 and then press enter. So R3 is now blank and I'm waiting for your input. Start by inserting plus followed by 1800 then press enter. 18,000 shall I say. Okay so let's So when pressing enter after the last digit, the value gets inserted into the memory. If you enter something wrong, press clear. <coughs> uh, there it is. Uh, to start the entry again, always double check before pressing enter or pro. So let's go to 18,000. Let's five. Okay. So now verify that spacecraft control is given to the command module by ensuring the SC continuation is set to CMC. Where's that? I think I'm having an idiot moment here. Where the hell's the SC continuation? Got something down there. Unless it's going to pop up to me in a minute. So when the data is inserted, enter 
verb 49, enter, to allow the guidance computer to control the attitude. Okay, so we need to do verb 49, enter. There we are, gimbal is turning. As indicated on the FDA, and the spacecraft will move it into the attitude relative to the stable reference platform IMU. There we are, it looks like they are almost stable. Okay, so since this is not aligned, will we use the ordeal to drive it into the retrograde direction of the current flight path? Set ordeal power above the right above the left side window to earth. Ah. And set the ordeal to that. Oh, here we go. Look at that action. Okay, so the attitude will now be driven to the retrograde direction. Okay, so that is a very brief lesson for this one. So that concludes the auto maneuver lesson. Use this method uh, to position the spacecraft attitude. So good job. Right, so just a brief lesson there, guys. As I said, I am going to keep splitting these lessons up individually. I don't want to clump them all together like I have done before. So. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Always more content coming from The Only Way is Beastly. We will see you soon, guys. Take care.